blessings of the minute, but most of those came more recently. Um, back in the day when I was doing Robotech, this is a long time ago, I was a young actor, it was my first series. Um, I was terrified. I was scared to death I was going to blow it. Um, I, I really didn't understand uh, this whole anime thing. But back then they called it Japanimation, so that tells you how far back that was. Um, and they um, and Carl uh, Carl kind of intimidated me because he was he's the producer and he's you know and I'm just this lowly actor. But what I, what would impress me about him the most was that he had this really clear vision of what he wanted, um, and uh, and he was very vocal about it and very insistent about how how this vision of this story was going to take place. Um, I didn't have a lot of dealings with him back then because because I had directors that I dealt with and he was busy trying to make this this show happen in a very short, I mean, they, we, we had about three or four months less than you would normally have to do something like this. Um, and plus, blending three different anime together to make one entire story, and so that's what he was focused on. Um, but he was, he was great to work with, and I worked with him a little bit later on when he started Streamline, I did um, Megazone 23 and Fist of the North Star with him and all that stuff. And I just always thought he was kind of a, a little bit eccentric, and, um, and just this kind of wild showbiz guy that you, that you run into from time to time. In recent years, um, I've gotten to know him better, and, uh, and I spent a lot of time with him. I, I really lost track of him and kind of hooked up with him at the beginning of this year, sadly, it took that long. Uh, we spent a lot of time in San Francisco together talking about his current projects. And what I discovered about what Carl was, first and foremost, was a consummate storyteller. He loved to tell stories. And he would, we sat at dinner and he'd telling these stories about stuff that's happened to him in real life and, and you just, two hours, you just hold your attention while he's telling you the story and making you laugh and fall off your seat. Um, and, and, and he understood, and this is what I learned most from him, he understood that regardless of what the story was, uh, Robotech with all the war and all that stuff, Flag, we, we, what I was just talking about, uh, anything that you like to watch, even Power Rangers to a certain extent, what the most important part of the story is is the relationships between the characters not the story itself. The relationships is what drives the story and makes it believable, and that's really what I've learned most about him, and I have taken that into my, into my work a lot more, especially as I direct. Um, but uh, the big lesson with Carl is, is, is if you have a vision, you know, uh, make it solid, make it work, and, and keep, keep at it until somebody listens and, uh, and gets it done.